What's up tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. What an eventful weekend it was for Serena Williams, who seems to manage her tennis career as if it were a game of musical chairs these days. Well, the tournament theme song has stopped and Serena has now resigned to sitting out for the rest of the season. Serena announced on Friday she would return to tennis for the first time since Wimbledon by playing this week's Linz event. On Saturday, Serena released a statement saying she had withdrawn from Linz after aggravating her surgically repaired right foot during a training session in Florida. Things went from bad to worse as a day later, Serena took to her official website to announce she is likely done for the season. Serena, who lost her world number one ranking to Caroline Wozniacki, joins older sister Venus, who pulled a plug on her season last week due to a knee injury, and Dinara Safina, who is done for the year with a back injury, as the third former world number one to shut it down for the season. I felt discomfort in my foot, and tests by my doctor revealed that I had unfortunately restrained it as a result of overtraining, Serena said in a statement. I am likely out for the year now. I was really looking forward to beginning my comeback in Linz, followed by a year-end championships in Doha. I feel completely heartbroken and devastated, but knowing I will never be given more than I can handle, I plan on coming back stronger and better. However, in order not to make this worse, I have to chill on my physical workouts, but I will immediately begin rehabbing as soon as I get the docs okay. Keep me in your prayers. I need them. Does the U.S. Fed Cup team have a prayer of winning its record-extending 18th Fed Cup championship without Venus or Serena? If Serena does sit out the November 6th through 7th Fed Cup final against defending champion Italy, world number 59 Bethany Maddox Sands and 69th ranked Melody Udan would be in the highest ranked Americans on the team. That would be a decided underdog against the Italians led by French Open champion Francesca Schiavone and world 22 Flavia Pineda. Caroline Wozniacki's number is up and her winning streak is intact. The 20-year-old Wozniacki celebrated her first day as new world number one by capturing her second straight title with a 6-3-3-6-6-3 win over Vera Svonareva in the China Open final. The top-seeded Wozniacki ran her winning streak to 10 matches in collecting her sixth title of the season. It is the first time in three years a woman has won at least six titles in a single season. Justine Hennen won 10 titles in 2007. I thought I played a really, really good match. Vera was playing really well too, Wozniacki said. Everything is working for me at the moment. I've got to believe I can beat anyone. I feel in great shape and I'm looking forward to Doha. The second seeded Zvonareva broke Wozniacki for a 3-1 second set lead. She did not relinquish in forcing a third set. Wozniacki has won a WTA Tour best 59 matches this season, while Zvonareva is third on the tour with 46 wins on the season. Despite this defeat, Zvonareva places Venus Williams as the new world number three. Rankings don't matter too much to me because I know if I play well, I'll win matches and the rankings will come, said Zvonareva. If I go on court and think about everything but my game, I won't be able to win any match and my ranking wouldn't be there. I just think about what I have to do on the court to win. They met in the U.S. Open final, and Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic continued their winning ways in Asia. Djokovic defended his China Open crown with a straight sets win over David Ferrer in a rain-delayed final. The second-ranked Serbian is the first man to win back-to-back -back Beijing championships in the six-year history of ATP 500 events. It's definitely one of the most successful tournaments in my career, said Djokovic, who won his 18th career title and raised his record to 9-0 in Beijing. The top seed in Nadal swept Gael Monfils to win his first Japan Open title and capture his seventh title of the season in eight finals. It was Nadal's 43rd career championship and first tournament title since he claimed his ninth career Grand Slam crown at the US Open last month. I won a lot this year, but I have to appreciate how difficult it is and how much hard work you have to do. I improved a lot my serve, and it is a big thing on a surface as quick as here in Tokyo, said Nadal. 
Well, that wraps us up for today, tennis fans. Be sure to subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And remember, on Facebook right now, we're running a sweepstakes to win a racket of choice and your favorite player's gear. I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now. Thanks for watching, and see you on Friday.